Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Houston Texans and the Chicago Bears. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime, but kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Just a beautiful afternoon for football, Coach. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Houston Texans and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by the NFL's most valuable player from 2015. It's Cam Newton. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game? Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. A nice run on first down. Gets him six yards to the 31. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. The last run got six, now second and four. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And let's take a look at the Texans' offense. With DeAndre Hopkins, I think anyone who's calling plays for him has zero limitations. And what I mean by that is he's a guy you can move outside, you can move him inside, play him on the left side, on the right side. It doesn't matter. Some guys, they have to have the ball in a certain spot, not Hopkins. Long, short, intermediate, he just wants the football. And then after that, he usually does some pretty good damage with run after catch. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Oh, look at the juke. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And the Bears take over. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards, the final tally. 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He lost two there, and it's third down. On third down, Lawrence, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Keep playing hard. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. A quick throw out wide to Fuller. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. the passer, defense. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. On second and 11 now. Newton, it's complete to Hopkins. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. From the gun, here's Newton. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here comes Cohen. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Throwing on first down, Lawrence. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. There defensively to knock it away was the safety, Justin Reed. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. To throw on third down, Lawrence. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Let's go, let's go! And now out comes Houston. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, 
Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On the draw, this is Davis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. They'll run on first down. Rodriguez. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try the air now with Newton. That'll be caught by Jordan Leggett, his tight end. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but go. not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. First down and there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. We got three, we got three, fellas, we got three. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Davis, he'll try to run for it. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. They run with a fullback now. This is Dan Batali. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. On the draw, the fullback Vitale. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. So a bit of a weird kick there. That wasn't an overly long attempt, but that never had a chance. You almost wonder if he might have maybe got that one on the laces because it kind of knuckled on him a bit. And this one winds up in empty possession. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down and in inches. That is caught by Cohen. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. On the defensive side here, the starters for the Texans. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on a roll early. Chip away at their timing. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Looking to throw. Lawrence and Robinson with a big catch. He's already topped his receiving output from a week ago, and we're just in the first quarter as that's a first down. 
Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. No score after one on EA Sports. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. He's got Burton here. And he stopped at the 44. It's also a gain of four. And now it's fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Let's go, boys. Let's go. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Now Newton. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Off play action. Lawrence. Looking left side and it's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. On first and 10, Lawrence. This one into the hands of Burton. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Second and five. Completes it to the tight end, Burton. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 42. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. First down, a run with Cohen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 41 Mike, 41 Mike. Here we go, D. To throw on second down, Lawrence, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw, Lawrence, and unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent, 
that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. On second down, Eckler. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. The Texans on third down, just one for five to this point. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. He finds Hopkins complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. Second and 10, Newton again. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Off the play fake, Lawrence. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. Now left side on the swing pass. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Off play action, Lawrence. Got a man, it's Brown. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Lawrence. And he completes it to Cohen. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. It's complete to Robinson. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now on second and 13. Newton, that's into the hands of the tight end, Leggett. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Bears. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Tariq Cohen and the rest of the offense heading back out there. He's only had a couple of carries. I mean, when you've got a horse like this, Second quarter, got to start to ride that horse a little more, don't you? You can't just neglect him. He's got to touch it and often in order to get maximum out of him. Typically, these types of backs, it's the accumulation of carries, and that's when you see the damage as the game goes on. Yeah, let's see. They're going to try to get him into the flow, we would assume, here. On first down, Lawrence gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. From the gun, Lawrence. He finds Robinson. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Throwing on first down, Lawrence. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Second and 10. And that is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? Draw play, it's Eckler. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Newton now to throw. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Newton now to throw. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. 
throwing is Newton. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you, too, in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Looking to throw. Lawrence throwing right, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 39. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Again, it's Cohen. And it fights through one man, and he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On first down, Cohen. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Looking to throw on second down, Lawrence. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Easy work. It's easy work, and it's coming again. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. There defensively to knock it away was the safety, Justin Reed. Blanketed coverage by Houston. Makes it fourth down. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. 
Here's the Texans offense now, reading for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, go, okay, go. these are the sequence of plays we, we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 16 yards on that one and also a Texan first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Going on the ground with Eckler, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. It's Eckler again. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Let's go. We're certainly not going to see a better punt than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20. But instead, it goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. To throw from his end zone, Lawrence. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. When you're on your own one-yard line like they were, oftentimes you're thinking just run on any down, get some space there. They elect to throw it. It cost them. You get the sense that they were banking on the element of surprise, right? Everyone expects you to run it there. Let's take a shot. Let's throw it. Try and create some space, some room. And it went awry, didn't it? Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working and call more of that. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. They fake the give. Newton. He gets it to Humphreys. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And an alley to run. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Now Eckler. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. This is third and goal. Still looking for the first points of the game. Here's Davis. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year as his guys are back within a single score. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. 
anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up, never even got to it. Extra point right down the middle, and that will get them one closer. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. This is taken near the 13. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Everyone's got four. Four down. Five. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Lawrence. They'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards is the pickup there, and a first down for Chicago. This quarterback now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Draw play. Cohen. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. I'm going to hit you all night. On third down, Swift. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat, and we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guys. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. On the ground, it's Eckler, and he's going to get this inside the 30. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. A quick throw out wide to Fuller. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A loss of two there, second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Here's Newton. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Running on first down, Eckler. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On second and 11 now, Newton. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And that is incomplete. 
All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run, the best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. There we go, here we go. First, man left, man left. On the draw, this is Cohen. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Now this throw caught left side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. Here we go again. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw again. Lawrence. This one into the hands of Burton. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Cohen. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Tariq Cohen, his first touchdown on the year. As the Bears push further out in front. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And that makes it a nine point game. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You DeAndre Hopkins, he's all alone. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 66 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Mike Brady, He can't hang. He's not going to get me. Running jet sweep here, Humphreys. 
Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Second down and goal. Newton to the goal line, but it's incomplete. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. Back to throw, Newton. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll force upon them a third and 14. A couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And as the numbers show, he really wasn't in the mix at the beginning, but they've got him in the rotation now, and it's proved a good move. And that's what happens when you're a good player. There's a lot more attention drawn to you. And it's obvious that they had him in their game plan on defense, not letting him get off to a good start. But he's found a way so far here in the second half. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. On first down, Newton. Short pass complete to Leggett. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To the air again, Newton. And the catch made by Hopkins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Newton will bring him up first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there. 
His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead here in the fourth. Nice execution there. Good job by the O-line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? That time, a six-play drive. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. The first down screen pass, good for five. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Second and five. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of six there on first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Second and four. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He'll look to throw. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. On fourth down, Lawrence. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this Texans defense stands tall. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And they'll indeed take a knee. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. 
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one, whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. Back to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jadevian Clowney in there to make the sack on what will be the final act in this ball game. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for the Texans... They move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to two and three. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Bears, the loss will move them back to three and two on the year. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions.